Hi everybody. So I am currently two months postpartum. So that means that Ava is two months. She'll be uh she'll be three months in a couple weeks actually. And I've been wanting to um make this video. Um it's just been so much going on and today is actually Easter, so you can just imagine she was born in January and it's April already. This video is way past due. I just want to go over basically like an update with me and an update with Ava and everything. Obviously, I had her January 25th. Um, we stayed in the hospital for four days. I had her through a C-section and um, the recovery was like, it was, I don't know, it was like, it was fast for me because... Um, Okay, and by the way, this video is like a little TMI. It's girl stuff that I'm talking about. I can imagine that it's girls watching me, so I hope you don't get too freaked out. First things I want to say is, I didn't bleed that long. So, I, I noticed like, um, I stopped bleeding basically around five weeks, like five and a half weeks. But it was like on and off, and it wasn't heavy the whole time. Like, it was it was like moderate and light, and it, but it would, it would be on and off. It would be like one day, okay, I think I'm not bleeding anymore. Then the, the next day or two days later, it'll come back on. But it's not, when it comes, it wasn't really, it wasn't heavy. So, you know? that's that. And then my incision, um, I want to say that, that didn't heal um too fast um it's still healing at the moment like i still have like a tiny hole because um on the right side i felt um well i didn't feel i i could see that it was like a tiny piece um still open uh, at first i was scared in the beginning to go to back to the hospital and you know to let them know and, and tell them everything because i'm like i don't want to have to either get surgery again i knew that the cut wasn't like deep to where it was like in my uterus i i knew it was just the skin well i'm not a doctor so i shouldn't say that but that's how i felt because i wasn't feeling like no tremendous pain or anything it wasn't no odor but it was like a little bit of like discharge and um like little yellow stuff so i knew it was infected so i started noticing um um, like the discharge and everything around I want to say around weeks three or four so I'm like all right it's gonna get better maybe this is a part of the healing process and everything so um one day I just I started feeling a little bit of pain so I said all right I'm gonna go to the hospital the next day so I went to the hospital they prescribed me some antibiotics um so I took those uh four pills a day for 10 days and um they were like if if um your symptoms like get worse then come back etc etc and they wanted me to see my regular OBGYN five days later so I finished the medication I went to see my OB and she cleaned the area with the um I don't know what type of I don't know what the name of the the stuff is but it was some type of antibiotic not antibiotic um it probably was antibiotic ointment cream so it was something and they, she cleaned it real good and then she gave me some gauze to put on it because it was bleeding a little bit and some little packets of antibiotic cream um cream to put on it and stuff so i went home and i did that and it started healing slowly but surely and um um now it's like it's, it's it's good now i know it's closing because it's, it's really 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 tiny so it it's it's getting there, but I'm not feeling no pain. It's no ooh, there's no pus or anything coming from it. So it's like it's it's I guess it's healing, doing what it needs to do. I do want to say after we left the hospital, you know they say when you have a C-section, you can't drive for two weeks. So um, a week and a half went by, and I said I can't do this no more. I can't keep depending on James to take me here and here and there and into her appointments and everything. Um, so I, I did drive. Uh, it wasn't far. I only drove from um, from here to his mom's house, which is not even 15, 20 minutes away. And I was doing a lot of cleaning and cooking and stuff. I know he, he James didn't want me to do it, but you know, me being who I am, I just, I can't sit around and when things need to be done, they need to be done right away ASAP. So, um, I was up on my feet doing stuff, but I wasn't in pain. And my feet, in the beginning, the first couple of weeks, my feet were very swollen. Like, it was like bad like i'm like oh my god my feet like they look i'll show you guys a picture but um yeah so i should have took it more easy easier or easily because i feel like that that had a um a part in or that affected the healing process of my incision or whatever but um i'm doing okay now um oh yeah james he was able to stay home the first three weeks from work and help me which was tremendous help because 
I don't know how I would have handled it handled it at first because a lot you know in the middle of the night so we basically like at night we took turns you know waking up and, and getting her and it was everything was going good um it still is going good to this day but um now I'm exclusively breastfeeding when we first came home from the hospital I was um giving her formula and um you know feeding her breast <laughs> and I was feeding her um breast milk but now I've been exclusively breastfeeding her I want to say since she was about seven weeks maybe maybe six or seven weeks so now I'm stuck because she won't take a bottle and she don't take her she doesn't like her pacifier anymore but she won't take a bottle so when I am um I do pump also so um there's milk in the freezer and we also have like a bottle warmer um you know to to warm the milk up and stuff but she won't take a bottle so now it's like it's hard so she she always wants me and you know things like that so i wish i would have never um i don't want to say i wish i never started exclusively breastfeeding her but i wish i would have did um you know sometimes on the breast and then sometimes on the, the bottle that way he can help me because in the beginning it was so helpful when i'm trying to cook or clean or if i wanted to run out to the store real quick he could she could stay home with him and he could feed her and stuff like that but now it's like she's with me 24 7. her pediatrician told me to, to just try you know daily to give her a bottle so that way she can get used to it again and stuff like that so um I'm gonna start trying to do that she just always wants to be up under me so um that's that I've been exclusively breastfeeding um she's getting big um at her two month appointment she was 10 pounds 10 ounces and 22 inches so she's growing she and she's greedy like and I feel like she be eating a lot because she um you know she be having her growth spurts here and there and everything but she she's getting bigger and oh my gosh she got her shots and I was I wanted to cry so bad like it was it was horrible but she did good she she got her little shots and she um she only cried not even longer than five minutes um me and her dad was there we both comfort her and everything they say sometimes babies get fevers so she did run like a little fever for the um the first day and a half so i just you know i monitored her and i would i would check her uh temperature every couple times i would change her diaper and stuff you know and i just kept her close to me you know because to keep her comfortable and everything and i kept a little log to uh show her temperature and um whenever i would give her the, the baby tylenol and stuff like that yeah, everything is um everything's going good I do want to say that being a first time mom is hard at first because it's like, you know, we're all really winging it, doing things as we go until we get in the routine and flow of things. But now I'm like, I'm used to it now um, in the middle of the night. In the beginning, she was, um, you know, waking up every few hours to eat and stuff like that. But now she's only waking up, I want to say, one or two times out of the night. So she's starting to sleep longer throughout the night. But even when she does wake up, like, um, I just I just love love you know taking care of her you know bonding with her and just you know enjoying those moments because you know they grow so fast so. I did want to make a separate video uh, showing like the essentials or I guess the things that I have really been using um, this whole time as far as like you know nursing bras or um, like her diaper genie or just anything that I have I think I'll just put it all in this this video Oh, another thing. I want to say this right now. Uh, I feel truly blessed because the way um, women describe like how hard breastfeeding is. I'm not shaming anyone, but they say uh, breastfeeding is so hard. You know, sometimes it's hard for babies to latch on or they their, their nipples be bleeding and be blistering and everything. I don't know if it's because I have like a big breast or whatever but um Ava latched on like in a hospital when she was first born like she latched on perfectly I never had any problems or irritation my nipples never bleed they never hurt everybody when they see me breastfeeding her like oh does it hurt like is it hard is it rough I've never had any issues or problems with her um latching on or um just any discomfort at all I bought 
the the nipple cream stuff like before she came and everything i never used it not one time so that was a waste of money it's just breastfeeding is really good i have a really good supply because she be eating i know she's full because she'll like she'll just be sitting there like she's milk drunk and it's so funny it's so cute too so um yeah i've never had a problem with my supply or anything but i do drink a lot of water and um i've been uh eating you know pretty good yeah breastfeeding is like i'm i'm 100 percent with it and um i love it i love the bonding time that uh i get to have with her while doing it and she's so greedy she's been smiling and laughing and it's like she knows our faces and stuff like that she loves her brother it's so funny every time he's around like she'll she'll be laughing it's just like she'll be talking i'm going to show you the things that i've been using and the things that have been coming in clutch uh since she's been here um is she waking up nursing bras is definitely a necessity it's just no way that i cannot wear a bra before she came i was able to not wear bras under my shirts or my nightgowns i have like um about five or six nursing bras i have one nursing nightgown i need to get more of those i think i got some of them from walmart and then i uh i got some of them from target her diaper genie that's coming clutch her uh her bottle warmer because you know um when I'm pumping and then freezing my milk I have a little baby bathtub because her first couple of weeks she hated it when I would wash her up so now she's now she's starting to get used to it and she actually likes getting baths now I bought this this cover thing to go over her car seat um so it's used for that I guess you know when it's when it's really cold I, I obviously put like a blanket on top of her um, inside her car seat and then I throw the little cover over just to keep the, the extra warmth in and everything and um also when I'm out in public if I'm out I can use it to nurse her as well I ordered this this little sling carrier thing off the of Amazon and I love it oh my god it's like so decent like and it comes in clutch every time like if I'm um at the grocery store or if I'm trying to do something around the house if I want to cook if I put her in the sling and I'm walking around like she'll fall asleep within 10 minutes and she just be knocked out so she's smiling right now so that sling I love that sling Ava she started getting cradle cap around like uh week five i want to say but it wasn't like severe mainly like at the top middle of her head and like the top back middle and like right all around like here i want to say so um i'll use this special shampoo to uh you know remove it and i made a video on that if you want to go check that out i'll link it in the description box i used that and i want to say it was gone within like a couple weeks i do have a baby bonnet for her i don't keep it on her head you know the whole night or like uh for a long period of time i i usually leave it on for about i want to say five or ten minutes after i use the oil um because the oil is like greasy so uh after uh massaging her hair with the oil i just put the um the baby bonnet on her head just you know to lock in the moisture and any excess oil can like you know rub off on the bonnet and not just be like everywhere i consider i know i've been like rambling about a whole bunch of other stuff and this is supposed to be a postpartum um video i want to say i haven't really had no postpartum depression um you know some days i do feel a little overwhelmed and, and everything and i feel like oh i can't get the you know i don't get i don't get to go outside every day i know james goes back and forth to work and he, he comes home but at least he gets to go outside so um i feel like i'm always trapped in the house you know with her and um you know stuff doing the chores and and cooking and you know some days and i'll be honest i don't cook every day because it's just too much and then you know having being uh breastfeeding a baby is like it's like it's a lot it's a i don't want to say a tough job but it's just like it's a full-time job for real for real being a mom i just want to say but um yeah so but i wouldn't change i wouldn't change anything and i would never give her up for nothing so um you can't do a postpartum update or a two-month baby update without actually showing the baby so let's go get miss ava like and she's already trying to get to my booze hi how was your nap how was your nap <laughs> Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? So, this is Miss 
Ava. I know the light's like really bright in her face. I don't know if you can see her. Yeah, I feel like the light's too bright. Say hi, mommy. Say hi, mommy. <laughs> Is it gonna focus on her? Ava. She's just waking up. She's not feeling nothing right now. She wants to eat. So, um, that is my, I guess, my two-month uh, postpartum update. It's been an adjustment, but, um, you know. Hey. Hey. That's everything. I did want to do a birth story, but you guys, you know, you saw my, um, if you watched my birth vlog. That, I mean, that's that. Um, there's not really much else to it. If you haven't seen that, go check that video out. I'll also list that in the description box. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Mommy is two months old and she's getting so big and so heavy. She's getting fussy. She's ready to eat. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Look, you trying, look, you trying to find it. You trying to find it. <laughs> what <laughs> she is she so she be moving her head around and everything and she be trying to stand up and all that but um i know i'm taking forever to close this video out but um thank you for watching please like this video and please subscribe if you're new and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll get notified every time i post a video and i will see you guys in my next video